Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through how to do this pattern and how to keep your dot mandala pattern symmetrical and well balanced without using a stencil or guidelines. This is just an example of where the guidelines would originally be but we're not using it today. I've just done it so you can see the lines that we'll be following when we do our pattern. These are the tools that I'll be using today. You can use any tools that you have. I don't give tool sizes in this video and I don't give instruction on paint consistency. I'm just focusing on how to do the symmetrical dot mandala pattern. I'm going to start with a light pink in the middle and I'm using one of the larger dotting tools. And there we have our center dot ready to do our pattern. I'm just going to grab the other piece of paper that I drew guidelines on before to show you what I want you to imagine on this piece of paper as we're dotting. The key to making this work is to always keep in mind these imaginary lines straight up and straight down and to always have your piece of paper vertical of where you're sitting. So here's the top and the bottom for me and what I'm going to do is just do a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom and then what I'm going to do is turn my piece of paper around so the next two dots that I do are going to be vertical as well so there's the top dot and the bottom dots going underneath so turning your paper around so it's vertical with where you're dotting is key to this technique and if you don't use baby wipes, I suggest getting some because it makes cleaning your tools so much easier. I use baby wipes to clean my dotting tools all the time. They are a lifesaver. Makes cleaning up so much faster and easier. So here we go again. I'm using a deco art paint this time, a darker pink and a bigger dot tool. So I'm just going to be doing the top and the bottom and I'm going to imagine that line straight up and straight down and I'm going to turn my paper around again so I can imagine that line straight up and straight down and do the same dots again, top and bottom. And now if you just want to follow along in the video and we're going to do another two dots on each of these uh, lines. So um, just push pause if you need to at any time and I just want you to keep those imaginary lines uh, in your mind as you're doing these dots. The further out you go from that center dot, the more important is to visualize that line that's straight up and then remember to turn your paper and visualize that line going straight up and down, uh, properly uh, vertical to where you're sitting, if that makes sense. So now we have our basic cross shape and we're going to turn our paper diagonally now and we're going to work on the sides. So I'll be using a different colour uh, so you can see where I'm working and you can see in this uh, previous piece that I've ruled the side lines. So let me just show you what I mean. So you see how I'm just turning the paper? So now the corner is going to be facing me and we're going to be following these lines, the corner lines straight up and straight down and the two side ones there. So I've just gone a little bit closer so it's easier for you to see and I'll be using a light green color with one of the smaller dotting tools. So I'm just going to place this dot in between the pink ones, as you can see, and I'm turning the paper around when I do the other two dots. So I'll zoom out again in a minute so you can get a better idea on what this looks like. So 
that corner where I'm coming from is actually facing me. So where, I, where the dot tool is now is actually north of me and now it's south of me. So that's my line that I'm following and now I'm turning the paper around and I'm imagining that line again going straight up and straight down from the center to the corners. So hopefully that makes sense. But this is the line that you always want to imagine there and follow and it will really help guide your dots and keep them straight. As long as you always remember to keep turning that paper around or the canvas that you're working on, whatever it is that you're working on, keep turning it around so it's completely vertical to where you're sitting. And like I said before, the further out that you get from the center dot, the harder it'll probably be. And don't worry if you get a little bit wonky, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I promise you, once you master this technique, it will be very valuable to you in your whole dotting career. <laughs> this is something that I only recently learned and I wish I knew this like two years ago when I first started dotting, it would have made such a difference to my work. Um, and I'm just so grateful that I now know this technique because it's so good. I don't need to worry about drawing guidelines or stencils. It's just, it's such a great way of just starting something and just, you know, keeping those imaginary guidelines in place and really kind of balancing out your artworks in, a, in a, the right way, I suppose. I find this really helpful. And um, if you do, make sure you comment below and let me know. Um, I hope this video makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, then make sure you yeah, comment below or email me and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And I just flatten out these large dots. Sometimes there's a you know well up of paint in the middle. So I just flatten them out with one of the smaller tools in case I wanna do top dots on them later. Now I'm just gonna turn the paper around so it's straight up and down for me again. And we're gonna get the other piece of paper with my original design, just take another quick look at it. We're gonna do some uh, walking of the dots. And here's our imaginary line again, <laughs> guidelines. This is probably etched in your memory now. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep those in mind as we do our uh, main dots. So we're gonna do the, t the main dots first and then from them, we're gonna use them as a guide and walk the dots down the sides of the bigger dots. So just follow along while I do that. So the paper is directly in front of me. The two corners are completely vertical to where I'm sitting. So this is my south dot going up to my north and this is a straight line right in front of where I'm sitting and I'm going to follow those imaginary lines. So I'm just doing the two dots first where I want my, so I can get centered and then I'm gonna walk the dots around the sides as you can see. So now I'm gonna turn my paper back around. It's just easier for me to dot with it closer to where I'm sitting and doing the walking of the dots that way. So now I'm going to turn the paper again. So I have my imaginary line straight up and straight down. I'm gonna do that top dot in line with the other dots I've done and also lining up with the corners. I'm going to use those ones as my uh, center dots, I suppose, and do the walking of the dots down around the bigger circle, as you can see. So if you just want to follow along now while I do some more dotting and uh, feel free to pause the video where you need to. So I'm just going to turn my square around so it's straight in front of me now. Now I have the sides uh, straight in front of me, I suppose you could say, instead of the corners. So I'm going to be doing walking the dots on the pink lines now, just the same as I did the corner ones. 
So if you just want to follow along while I do that. And keep in mind guys that it doesn't have to be perfect. So I know there are a lot of perfectionists out there that really enjoy dotting but um, I just want to remind you that uh, yeah you don't have to have everything perfect I mean these lines might look perfect to you but I can assure you that they are definitely not straight <laughs> um, and you know it just takes practice so the more that you do this the, the better you're going to get at it um, and it's taken me quite a while to be able to get these straight lines so you know definitely don't judge uh, judge yourself um, be easy on yourself and just try and enjoy the process um, the more you do it like I said the you know the better you'll get at it and I would love to see uh, how yours turned out so if you want to post it on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram um, let me know how you find this video. Do you find my instructions easy to follow? Uh, would you like me to explain anything in more detail? Uh, also comment below and um, yeah, I'd love to see your designs and what colors you decided to use as well. So we're pretty much done now. Uh, I'm just going to add a few more dots on the outsides. I like doing this to a lot of my patterns because I think it kind of gives it, I don't know, a little bit more depth, I suppose. It gives, a, gives it a little bit of a fan out effect, um, just adding those few extra dots on the outsides. Um, yeah, so you can totally do this if you want or not. You could use the same colors or a different color. Uh, you could even continue walking the dots around if, if that's what you wanted. You'd probably get a really nice flower if you decided to do that totally up to you and I would really love to see what you decided to do so yeah like I said before make sure you comment below and uh, tag me on Instagram so I can see your beautiful creations um, and I hope you found this video uh, really helpful uh, if you do make sure you like and subscribe it really does help my channel um, and it lets me know what I can uh, continue creating to teach you guys in the future uh, and if you have any uh, ideas or future videos that you'd like me to create, make sure you pop them below as well. Okay, well, that's it from me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon. See ya.